Good morning, guys. Yesterday was like not the day for us. I woke up with a headache, like a really bad tension headache on the back of my neck. So I literally <clears throat> did nothing yesterday. So Claire, are you cuddling with mommy? You wanna make sure she's okay? I would wanna cuddle with that booty too. Now we have all the pressure of like vlogging and editing in the same day and uploading in the same day. So we're gonna do it because yesterday we took the day off. But anyways. Yep, that's why we started Vlogmas one day early so yeah. that we could have a day like yesterday where we just relax and take a day off. Yeah. But now we took our day off within the first week and now we got three weeks to go. Yeah, but honestly like, you know what? It's fine if we take a break here or there. Um, I just had a really bad headache, so I just was not in the mood to like vlog and like edit and do all that stuff because I already had to catch up on a bunch of other computer work, so it is what it is. But anyways, you guys know the deal. Sequoia, we're taking her to High the five. field. High five. <laughs> So we are obviously back in the car. We just got home from taking the dogs to go run around in the field. That dog is Evie. She is Jason and Andrea's dog. Um, so Sequoia and Evie have actually known each other since Evie was like eight weeks old. So they've like pretty much grown up together. Sequoia is gonna be four in a couple months or like six months and then um evie is like three so they pretty much have grown up together it's like the cutest thing ever sequoia is like totally like the bossy big sister and evie's like the annoying little sister <laughs> but it's so cute they always have so much fun but anyways we are going to the coffee shop because we are obviously going to go get some coffee and we wanted to really like leave a good tip for all of the baristas there because it is Christmas time or like the holidays and we wanted to just like surprise them with something nice so we're gonna go and tip them I'll probably just leave the camera up along the top up here because I feel like it's kind of awkward to like film someone's reaction I don't know I just think it's kind of cringy so we're just gonna leave the camera up there we love this coffee shop because they have birds that live in the tree right here. So there's literally 50 birds. Like you go through the drive-thru and there's always like a whole family of birds hanging They're out. They're so chunky too. That's so cute. Hey, how are you today? Hey, how are you guys? Good, hey. good to see you. Good to see you guys. Oh my gosh, I love, I love your, your earrings. earrings. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, still, I like literally told my husband about this like blanket thing. <laughs> thing. Yes. Yes, it'll keep you so comfy. <laughs> and can we just get that half sweetened and with Oat milk, mm -hmm. yes, of course. and an extra shot of espresso, please. Oh, yeah. And here we'll just pay with cash, oh, and then this is all for you guys for being awesome this holiday season. Thank you guys. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, of course. You guys have been so fabulous. So this is just for everyone to enjoy. And you are so sweet. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Of course, of course. no worries. You're so cute. You're so cute. They're literally screaming. <laughs> One day. I was really, 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 really sad. Could you please put that song on? No. I would really appreciate it. Mm -mm. I just want to be appreciated. Mm -mm. They are seriously so cute. And they accidentally made another one, so we actually got two coffees for the price of one. But we seriously love them in there. They are honestly the best people ever. Dude, what a great day. We got two coffees. Mm -hmm. And they both have extra shots of espresso in them. We're gonna have the best day ever. I already I'm feel it. Yeah. Okay, so we just spent like the last 30 minutes just chilling, drinking our coffee. Um, Steven's gonna be getting some work done. He's doing some blog posts right now and I am going to do a yoga flow just in the yoga room. I was gonna go to the gym, but honestly I'm like too lazy to go all the way to the gym right now. So I'm just gonna do something chill here and then yeah, it's gonna be a pretty relaxing day today. All 
All right, so it has been a little bit of time later, but we are so excited because we got this in the mail a few days ago, but we've been busy with some other things and we didn't really have enough time to do it. But we got this in the mail. It is a at, or it's an at-home pottery kit from Crocked. They're actually an Australian-based company, and I got an ad for them on Instagram, and I just couldn't resist it because their branding was just so on point. So we're gonna make this tonight. We have some beers that we just cracked open. It's gonna be a fun time. We're gonna see like what we can come up with. I was thinking of doing like not like a coffee mug because I honestly don't drink hot coffee that often. I was actually gonna do like a little like tall, well not little, but like a tall glass that I can put iced coffee in and then probably like a plate or something. So we're just gonna see what we can come up with, but I'm really excited about it. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys a quick run through of everything, but like I said, their branding was just so cute that I just had to buy it. So like I said, they're an Australian based company and their shipping was actually really fast. I was genuinely impressed at how fast it came, but you open it, so cute. They give you a little welcome card and then here is the clay it's pretty heavy and then they give you some tools and then they just give you another little card with um some instructions i guess and then this was actually the cutest thing ever this is really why i bought it because i just thought this was the cutest thing they give you clay breakers and it's pretty much all of these questions and stuff that you ask your friends or significant other to get to know them better and i just thought that was like the cutest thing for a date night and yeah we're gonna make this tonight and we'll show you guys the process and how it turns out The Utah monolith stands. That looks cute. Dude, this stuff, like, Tiffany and Co. sells this for like $400, but I made it right here. Are you gonna make a set? A little they could be like espresso shots no these are limited edition just one <laughs> this is for my uh anti-social friends who only need to have tea by themselves you don't need the <laughs> second one for anybody else so here's my situation i'm trying to make like a little rainbow that i'm gonna put on the front i've just accepted that this is just what the cup's gonna look like it's fine honestly i don't want to overdo it and make it look bad or just overthink it and not end up making anything. So there is my cup. I'm gonna make a rainbow. We'll report back on Steven's teacup if it will have a second one to go along with it. This one's leaning. <laughs> Youth trolling. I'm not. That looks really good. <laughs> like, I'm impressed that you got that shape. Thanks. Okay, another quick update. Made myself a plate. It's coming along together. Yep, you can Steven eat this. Steven also made us some dumplings with, what's the sauce? Yum, soy sauce and honey and sriracha and sesame oil and garlic powder and sesame seeds. All right, here are our beautiful creations. We have a plate. We have a little, well, what is this, a teacup? Yep, I've got my sake cup. The teacup, the sake cup. We have this giant cup or plant pot we were thinking and then we have this little ring holder so I would say that this is a success how do you how do you think we did you did amazing I am not an artist 
I think yours actually turned out really good. You guys have to let us know below. Do you think Steven's actually turned out good? Like I was telling him this looks so abstract and it could actually work as like a candle holder. So it could either be like a sake glass or it could be one of those like stick candle holders. So it's multi, multi-functional. So they give you some instructions. First of all, this is hilarious. So glazed right now. That's relatable. Um, anyways, it gives you instructions on what to do. So you let it dry for at least two weeks and then you take it into a local kiln and you can have them bake it for you. And then it's supposed to turn out as like a white and black speckle. So we're gonna keep you guys posted two weeks from now when we go and do that. But I would say that it actually turned out really cute. I'm really happy with the results. We just had so much fun trying to mess with the clay things. Honestly, I was getting a little frustrated, but with art, you just gotta let yourself go and not try and create something because you'll find your creative ideas when you're not looking for something. So just kind of mess around. That's how I came up with my little sake cup. That's what you want to call it. <laughs> it's like a mini wine glass or something or candle. I think holder. it turned out really cute. Yeah. So we just did the did the most with it. We'll report back in two weeks to show you guys what it looks like after it's baked.